Hi folks, welcome to another episode of NYC CNC. I'm super excited to announce that we're hosting an open house. It'll be Saturday, March 28th here in Zanesville, Ohio. I've always wanted to do this and I actually wanted to do it in New York, but it didn't make sense because it was my personal house and I was violating zoning at the time as it was. And um, now that we're here, we're, we're pretty much set up. Um, I'd really like to do it. I floated the idea out um, in a couple other videos where I just mentioned it and see what kind of feedback I got. And it was great. I had a lot of people email and say that they'd love to come. I have one person who's definitely flying and I think a second person who might fly in, which is crazy. So. Right now, there's no real specific thing I want to do at the open house other than open up the shop uh, for you guys to come see the Tormach mill, the Tormach surface grinder, the bridge port, the Emco, all the stuff that you guys have seen over the 250 or some videos that we've done over the past uh, six years. Um, it's weird to say this, but a chance to meet me. I, I, it's, uh, it's very odd saying that, but um, yeah, it'll be on my family farm here in Janesville, Ohio. This farm was... Uh, I think started by my, founded, whatever you want to call it, by my great, great, great grandfather in about 1820. And it's been in the family since. It's a pretty small farm, um, about 275 acres. But um, it means a lot to me. It's a major reason why I, amongst other reasons, but one reason why I wanted to get out of New York and come back here. And I'm so grateful that it's worked out so well. The business has been really growing and uh, it's a great place to have, um, you know, it's a great place for me, I think, to raise my family and have my shop. And you guys have been a part of that story, so I really look forward to it. Um, I'm excited to share a couple things. Tormach is gonna come down for it. Someone, I'm not sure who, from Tormach in Wisconsin, though, is gonna fly down and they'll be here, so it's your chance to talk to someone who really knows what they're talking about. Um, and I, uh, I'm gonna buy a Tormach lathe, uh, probably here in the next day or two, and so that should be here and set up, I'm gonna go with a turret option. So uh, what's cool, if you're interested in, in a Tormach or just seeing what they're about, we'll have the mill, obviously, we'll have the surface grinder and we should have the lathe, um, amongst of course all the other stuff. So I gotta figure out what else we're gonna to try to do or um, have as options on the open house. Um, but for now, I just wanted to mention the date and um, get it out there. Uh, I've got a little page here on the NYC CNC website called the Open House. On it is some important information, some directions. We're going to offer a full lunch for everyone who comes. We're going to do some door prizes, maybe some giveaways. Um, I do ask that you RSVP. I'm not going to turn anybody away if they didn't, but I need to get an idea of whether 20 people are coming or 100 or 150. Um, for silly things like food and making sure I got enough restroom facilities and parking and all that. So please do me a favor, RSVP, so I've got a head count. And then if you're interested in making the trip out here from a little bit further away, uh, I thought I'd highlight a few really, really cool things. Um, there actually are some great things in Zanesville. Zanesville's a pretty small town and it's certainly not the metropolis that New York was. And to me, that's, necess that's a good thing. But um, if you're a tourist coming here for the open house and you're interested in either doing something else um, to make the trip worthwhile or if your wife or the wife and kids want to split off and do something, there's a number of great things. Uh, and I'll go through them real quick. The Wilds is an amazing facility. Long story, it was um, strip mined land from the uh, utilities of America Electric Power, and they donated thousands of tens of thousands of acres. And it's like the largest wildlife sanctuary in the U.S. They've got zebras, zebras, rhinos, um, lots of critters and they're in their sort of quasi-natural habitat and you can take safari tours on buses. Not like a zoo, it's much different. Really cool, it's only, I think, about 20 miles from the farm here. I'm literally right in the middle of filming and I hear a truck pull up and sure enough, we gotta go unload some material. There's a fellow in Zanesville, a sculptor named Alan Cottrell, and even if you're not an artistic person or an artist per, into art, He's got an amazing studio. He does huge bronze castings. It's worth uh, worth the tour or stopping by. We have the only wide bridge in the world in Zanesville. You go drive to the middle of the bridge and decide whether to turn left or right. There's a Longer Burger. There's a basket company that was in its prime in the 2000s or late 1990s, but they've got a beautiful homestead, more for the wives, but sort of a country um, or a big shopping place. Really cool. Um, you can actually see the big musky bucket. The big musky was the world, I think it's the world's largest drag line. It's what was used uh, on the wilds, a wildlife land that I just mentioned. 
And the, bu the bucket's still there. Unfortunately, the machine itself was uh, dismantled. Um, I'm proud to say that my grandfather in his time did a little bit of work on it, so kind of a cool connection. Um, and then Janesville is the pottery capital of the world. Again, not my cup of tea, but uh, especially if your wives into it, there's a lot of pottery companies, pottery stores, that type of stuff. Um, Columbus is about an hour away. Um, a great city, really. I mean, a world-class city with, with all kinds of shopping, sports. COSI is the center of science and industry. It's a museum in Columbus. Phenomenal. I, I, you could call it a kid science museum, but I would go there as an adult any day. Um, it was hugely instrumental in my interest in CNC and engineering as a kid. It's where I uh, saw that first robotic uh, arm pen plotter that actually mentioned and sort of inspired the garble CNC pen plotter video I just did a few days ago. Um, and then if you go past Columbus to Dayton, uh, it's about two hours from here. Wright Patterson Air Force Base, an incredible place. Used to go to air shows there as a kid with my mom's father, my other grandfather. And they have a, I think it's called the Air Force Museum or National Museum of the Air Force, but holy smokes, folks, you know, maybe outside of the Smithsonian Museum in DC, I mean, probably the most incredible display, hundreds of aircraft, missiles, replicas of the atomic bombs, really, really cool, um, awesome thing to do. So hopefully you guys can come. I'd love to have you. I'd love to welcome you here. I'd love to encourage you to uh, see some other parts of Central Ohio. I'm happy to help. If you've got questions, you can shoot me an email, john at nyccnc.com. I'm talking to a local hotel, so if you want to spend the night, I'm going to try to get a promotional rate for, um, for the open house. And yeah, that's all I got. But uh, appreciate all the enthusiasm, folks. Appreciate the support and the following. And I hope to see you on March 28th. Take care.